Hi, in this Crockle Block tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can display related posts like this using the listing grid. Before we can add the listing grid to our single post template, we need to make sure a few things are set up first. The first thing we need to do is make sure that we have some post and categories assigned to them. So as you can see right here, I just have six simple posts right here, and I just have a bunch of different categories. The next thing you're going to want to make sure you have set up is underneath jet engine and listings. You already have a listings inside of here before you can add that grid to your template. So let me jump over into this and show you how I have everything set up. As you can see, I'm pulling in the source is just a post and then the post type and taxonomy just post. So let me show you how this looks inside of jet engine. The first thing I recommend is update the preview settings. So if you look underneath the settings right here in the bottom left, click underneath listing settings. And in this situation, I'm just going to choose post. And then the post type is just post. So if you were using a custom post type, you would select that down here. And what that's going to do is give you a little preview of how your listing can look right here. So you can see where you can change the width and everything right here. And then as far as the listing itself, uh, I kept this card very simple. We just have the featured image. And then right down here, I'm just pulling in the post title, post excerpt right down here, and then just like a button to the post. So that's it. That's a very simple way to have everything set up. So once you're done with that, you can just go ahead and hit update. And now what we could do is actually add the listing grid right here inside your post template. And to add a single post template, we could just go underneath templates right here. Click this button up here where it says add new template. Click single post, give it a name, and then click this button right here that says create template. And when you get to this page, it's going to be blank, of course. But let me go ahead and just show you how I have this one set up. So what I did is I just pulled in this right here. The post title is right up here. Then this one is that one right here called featured image. This right here is just the post content. So I just click and drag that over. But what we want to do is focus more on this right down here where it says related post. So as you can see, this is just using the regular heading just called related post. So let's go ahead and show you how easy it is to set all this up from scratch. What you're going to want to do is search for listing grid. So just type in listing grid and just put that right down here. Now what we need to do is call that one that we just created. So I believe it was called post listing. And as you can see right here, it's bringing in six posts, but let's go ahead and just change that to three. So it's just gonna show the three right down here. Now what we need to do is jump over into post query and click this button over here that says add item. Then what we need to do is select this first one called post and author parameters. Once you add that, what we need to do is make sure that we're not going to display the current post that you're on. In order to do that, you just paste in this macro right here. So let me go ahead and just zoom in so you can see right here. This is what I'm going to be using as the macro. And you can see right here, as soon as I do that, if I delete it, if you watch right here, it's going to automatically delete post five because as of right now, I'm viewing this as post five. So if you go underneath your preview settings right here, you can see right here I have as post five. So I wanted to show that so you can understand that when you add the current ID to be excluded, it's not gonna show up down here. Now what we need to do is go back underneath post query. We need to add another one. So if you click on this right here, it says add item. This right here where it says tax query. We need to make sure we click that. And then underneath taxonomy, in my situation, I'm just using the default categories uh, inside of WordPress. So you're just going to want to click that. And then underneath terms, we need to add another macro. So let me zoom into here and just paste this in. So what we need to do is add this one called current underscore terms. So that macro is basically where all the magic is happening. It's figuring out what your current term is on that post. And then it's going to display a feed of just that. And then that's it. We're just going to want to make sure it says operators in field term ID. You're just going to keep that by default. And now you can go ahead and hit update and do some testing on the front end. And here's an alternative way to have more granular controls over your queries. And that's using the query builder. So what we can do is if you go underneath jet engine and then you click on query builder, what you can do here is create a custom query. And then what you're going to do is enable it right under here. And now what we can do is click the add new button up here when you're inside the query builder. 
And let's just do, uh, you have to give it a name. So let's just say like current terms, something like that. And what we need to do right down here is click underneath uh, query type, make sure it's set to post queries. And then we just need to set up a few things down here. For the post type, you're gonna wanna click and make sure it says post. And that's the only setting underneath general. Now we need to jump over into the tax query, click this button where it says add new. Then what we need to do is select categories right here for the taxonomy. Underneath field, let's go ahead and choose term ID. So now we need to select this button right here and this is all of the different macros. And what we wanna select is current terms. When you click that, a new pop-up is gonna come up for taxonomy and we're gonna click categories. And just make sure you hit the apply button so you can see it's for the current terms. And then underneath here where it says compare operator, you need to make sure you select in. And that's it. So you can go ahead and click add query. Then what you need to do is go back into your listing grid, refresh the page so we can select the custom query we just created. Go back down here and now underneath custom query, select this on and then you should see the one we just created called current terms. So when you enable that, you should see that it's gonna pull in your current terms. So after we enabled the custom query, you may notice that instead of showing the three, it's showing six now. And if we go back into general, you would think that you would change this number and it would update here. But what's happening is when you use a custom query, it's gonna override most of the settings underneath general and your post queries and your terms query. It's gonna automatically override that. So you need to do all of your changes now inside of the query builder. And in order to make it where we can have three per page, if you go underneath the pagination right here, you can say post per page. We need to add a three here if we wanna have three. And then if you wanted to have a little more control over the ordering like we did before, you can go right here. You can do order by post ID, by date. So if we do by date, you can do lowest to highest. So that might be a good situation. And then you wanna click update query. And then anytime you update the query, you need to make sure that, I'm gonna hit update on the page and you need to refresh it on the back end, and then your new query settings should be in here. So now you should see it's going by date from the lowest to highest. So post one, two, and three. And now you can see there's only three posts showing right here. So here we are in a split screen mode. And what I'm gonna do is show you the feed from the right side is gonna be what the post looks like on the front end. And then now we can visually see what categories we have. So in this situation, we're on post one and the only category we have selected is bidet. So if we go down, we should not see post two, we should not see post four, but we should see the other one. So we should see three, five, and six. So as you can see right here, we can see post three, five, and six. If you need to reverse that order, we could also go into right here under post query and this one right here says order and offset, what we could do is ascending. So instead of descending, we can change the order to ascending. So now if we hit update on the front end, let's go to post one, it should display three, five, and six. So let's go to a different one and make sure that this is all working. So if I go up here to post two, and let me scroll down here. So it's got TV set and Wi-Fi. So as you can see, it's not including post two, which is the current ID, and it's not gonna show post one because it doesn't have either one of those categories. But it should display post three, which is right here for the Wi-Fi. Post four has Wi-Fi and post five has Wi-Fi. So as you can see, everything seems to be working on the front end. So this is a really great way to be able to show dynamic content on your post templates. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.